Nakaka-albo na ako. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Oreology, and today we're going to discuss the properties of equality. So, sa equation, kung anong gagawin mo sa kaliwa, yun din dapat ang gagawin mo sa kanan. Kung anong gagawin mo sa kanan, yun din ang gagawin mo sa kaliwa. So, bago tayo magpatuloy, please uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and yan. Yeah. Properties of equality. So let A, B, C, and D be our any real number. So the first property, addition property. If A plus B is equal to C, then A plus B plus D is equal to C plus D. So it means that uh, value that you're going to add on the left side of the equation add also on the right side. So example, we have 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. So 2 plus 4 plus 3 is equal to 6 plus 3. If you add 3 to the left side, add, add, also, on, add also 3 on the right side of the equation so that the equation and that the expression on the left side is equal to the expression on the right side. So 2 plus 4 plus 3 that is 9. Still 6 plus 3 9 equal. They are equal. Next, subtraction property of equality. If a plus b is equal to c then a plus b minus d is equal to c minus d. So, so if 2 plus 4 is equal to 6, then 2 plus 4 minus 1 is equal to 6 minus 1. The value that you're going to subtract on the left side of the equation, so subtract also on the right side of the equation. So if you simplify here, we have 6 minus 1, which is 5. 6 minus 1 is also 5. So this is how this, the equation or the expression on the left side is still equal to the expression to the right side. Next, multiplication property. If a plus b is equal to c, then the quantity of a plus b times d is equal to c times d. So, a value that you're going to multiply to the left side. So, multiply also on the right side of the equation. So, if we have 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Then, if we're going to multiply both sides, times 2, times 2 also on the right side. So, that the expression on the left side is still equal to the right side. So if you're going to simplify, this is 12. This is also 12. Uh, so a number or a term that you're going to multiply on the left side, multiply also on the right side of the equation. Last, division property. If a plus b is equal to c, then a plus b divide then by d is equal to c over d. And so a number that you're going to divide on the left side of the equation, divide also on the right side of the equation. So if we have 2 plus 4 is equal to 6, and if we're going to divide both sides, divide by 3. If you're going to divide 3 here, divide also on the right side so that the, the term on the left side is equal to the term on the right side so this, this is 3 so 2 plus 4 is 6 divided by 3 is 
two, sorry. And then since our two is still awesome. So these are the properties of equality. So properties of equality is very useful, especially if you are going to find the value solution or roots of the open sentence or in the equation with variables. As what I've said earlier, properties of equality is very useful in finding the solution or roots of an open sentence or other as an equation that having a variable. If we're going to find the value of the variable so that the equation still become a true still will become a true if it is true so if example we have 2x minus 6 is equal to 4 so if we're going to find the value of x may halaga pa ba yung x <laughs> so 2x minus 6 is equal to so you applying the properties of equality. So if we're going to remove negative minus six here on the left side, we're going to add both side by six. So the additive inverse of negative six. So two x minus six plus six is equal to four plus six. And so if you observe. We add both sides the equation by 6. Why 6? Because we want to remove negative 6 here on the left side. So the additive inverse of negative 6 is positive 6. So if we're going to simplify now, 2x minus 6 plus 6. So negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So the remaining terms on the left side is 2x. And on the right side, simplifies also. 4 plus 6 is 10. And then next, so we're, we're going to divide both sides by 2. So that the remaining term on the left side is the variable x. So 2 over 2, which is 1, or cancel, so that is 1. 1x one is equal to 10 divided by 2 is 5. So the value of x is 5. So let's check if this is the solution or the roots of the equation 2x minus 6 is equal to 4. So 2 times 5. So x will become 5. And then minus 6 is equal to equal to 4 and then 2 times 5 is 10 minus 6 is equal to 4 10 minus 6 4 is equal to 4 so this is a solution of the equation 2x minus 6 is equal to 4 next example we have 2 third m plus 1 is equal to 7 so we're going to remove one here. So that the remaining terms on the left side is 2 third m. So we're going to subtract 2 over 3 m plus 1. Subtract 1 is equal to 7 minus 1. So we subtract both sides the equation by 1. So minus 1, minus 1. So that 1 minus 1 is 0. So the remaining term now here is 2 third m is equal to 7 minus 1 is 6. And then after that, we can multiply both sides by the denominator 3. So 3, 3. So, 3 times 2 is 6m over 3. So, 3 times 6 is 18. And then, 6 divided by 3 is 2. We have 2m equal to 18. So, we can divide 
combine one side by two. So m now is equal to 18 divided by 2, which is 9. So let's let's check if this is the solution of 2 third m plus 1 is equal to 7. So 2 third m is equal to 9 plus 1 is equal to 7. 2 times 9, 18 over 3 plus 1 is equal to 7. So 18 divided by 3 is 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. So 6 plus 1 7 is equal to 7. So that is properties of equality. So very useful in finding the solution of an open sentence or equation with variables. So today, I hope you learned something. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.